Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Rukah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, our great milestone for teaching us truth and for will and well. And peace and invitation to all you Akim out there pushing and defending his gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. As well as to you, believers in Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, the men as well as the women, you know, the hope for the light. This is a brother Kahana La from the GMS Hawaii. And I just want to do a, a lesson, you know, inspired by, that, by a video that, you know, has been going viral. And uh, which is this right here from a teacher, a, a Edomite, you know, man, uh, just giving his thoughts, you know, to his students, man. Which ultimately, as you're going to hear, This is how Esau really feels about himself and about his people, man. They really feel like they are the superior race. Uh, and in these last days, we're seeing more and more Edomites, you know, coming out and, and, and saying these separate things, man. You know, or Esau showing his, his true uh, personality, man. You know? Uh, and as we read... In Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6 You know the Heavenly Father Chose a, a holy people Unto himself you know he He chose A nation of people Unto himself to be above all people Man which that nation of people Is the Israelites Which is you so called Negroes, Latinos Native Americans, Seminole Indians You know he's the He chose You as his uh, Precious jewel man you know, the scriptures say that we are the apple of his eye. And he chose us to give him uh, glory, to give him uh, honor through our through our actions, man. And he put a, 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 he made a covenant with us by giving us the law, statutes, and commandments, which are nothing but rules and, and righteousness, uh, commandments and judgments. Righteous commandments and judgments That if we would have followed them uh, We would be You know above all nations But also The Lord put a special spirit Upon the Israelites man And this is why in the scriptures You know in the book of Matthew Lord willing we'll get it in, in, uh, Later on in the lesson You know it tells us that we are the salt of the earth You know chiefly with Without the Israelites uh, In in the world man This place would be Dull You know It, it wouldn't be uh, a, a, a A great place Even though it's It's, it's, it's wicked It's been You know Wicked rulerships But In, in those rulerships uh, Greatness came Through the Israelites man Inventions Music uh, Art all those things, the best of them, have came by the hands of Israelites, man. So the Heavenly Father created us to be above all nations. You know, so let's play this video. And then we'll get to some more scriptures in Lord willing and be edifying. Deep down in my heart, I'm ethnocentric, which means I think my race is the superior one. That was now a former educator in Austin, Texas, who has been fired after admitting to his students that he believes that the white race is the superior race. And as you can see from the video, that classroom has uh, non-white students within it. And this is, again, an educator who is creating a hostile environment for his students. One of the students luckily did catch it on camera. And here's some more footage from the exchange. Deep down in my heart, I'm ethnocentric, which means I think my race is the superior one. Oh! Hey, look! Hey, look! So, white 
is better than all. No, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. Hey. I think everybody thinks that, they're just not honest about it. Hey, I'm not racist, though. I like all types of comments. Did I say I don't like people? Hey, boy, you Wait, that. so you said you are what? You are racist? You're saying you're like... I think everybody's a racist at, at that level. No, but you said you are a racist. <laughs> I did. I did. Yeah, I'm not saying it's enough. So you're racist. I think I'm like, you something. Yeah, but you're phoned up. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not saying it's enough. I'm 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 saying it's you know, something I noticed real quick in this middle table where you see uh, the Jake on the right. That table. Let's see if I can get it. You have the northern, the southern and the northern kingdom in that table, if I'm not mistaken. You know, which ultimately is the spirit, man. Let's see. You know, because again, we we are entering into a time where the Lord is going to bring that transition of power. Let check that out. Oh, let me see. No, it was before this guy sat down. This the second J. Right there. You see, the southern and the northern kingdom in that table, man. That's that's spiritual right there. But like I mentioned, you know, we entering into a time where the Lord's going to bring that transition of power from, you know, being in the hands of the Edomites into the hand of, of the Israelites, man, which are going to show you nations, you know, Yahabah, Shema, Oshai, Ratasa, we be of that, of that number. We're going to show you other heathen nations that we are the superior race. You, you already see it in a, in a physical and and spiritual level because that's the only place where Esau lets us excel you know whether it be in, in sports or or you know entertainment and then spirituality you know Jake above all other nations although they do it in wickedness they go extra hard for these religions man whether it be Islam or Buddhism or whatever you know, showing you that Jake has a, a strong spiritual uh, drive, you know, above all these other nations, man. But we're going to do it in righteousness this time. And you're seeing that even now with the with the elect, man, with the starting off with the, the apostles, the elders, all the brothers on down, the prophets, and the believers in Yahweh Shema was shot. You know, we're doing it to the best of our abilities. To follow after righteousness, to follow after the ways of Yahweh Hashem Shah, which already give us an advantage over all these people, man. We we have that eye salve that the Lord has given us through the Spirit to see what's going on worldwide, to see what what's coming. So we preparing ourselves for for the day of judgment, man. Preparing to lose. Everything preparing to lose uh, our, our our material uh, gains and our, our families, while these other people are just thinking life is gonna go on and everything's gonna be okay. You see, so it's already an advantage. We have a, a, a superior uh, frequency through the spirit. You know, so. Again, let's read uh, Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power, which that word holy means uh, separate, and uh, that separation that the Lord made was for us to be superior in righteousness. You see, so as of right now, n not all of our nation, not all the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians are superior to these other races, but the hopeful elect, you know, those of us that believe in Yahweh Hashem Shah, we are, man. And we say that boldly because we're, everything we do is according to Yahweh Hashem Shah, the creator of all things. He that created good and evil. You know? So it says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself 
above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You see, so above all people, we're special to Yahweh Hashem Oshah. Because why? Because of the law, statutes, and commandments that He gave unto us, and also that that special spirit He put upon Jake, man. You know, the Heavenly Father created the Israelite man <clears throat> and woman to have, but chiefly the man to have traits that he has. You know, so Jake has that that spirit of 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 that warrior spirit. You know, Jake has that spirit of of connecting with with nature, that loving spirit. You know, it's just that Esau. Uh, with his With his uh, Witchcraft and his uh, deceit Has fooled our people Into acting like We see the so called Negro, Latino Native American act today Like a bunch of You know wild beasts You know killing each other uh, You know fight amongst Fighting amongst one another But the, Those that are of the of the church of Yahweh Hashem Shai, you see those traits that I spoke about just now amongst them, and you see the love that the brothers have for one another, and as well as the sisters, man. And it's something that everybody's attracted to, man. I, we always mention this when we, me and the other Gabar from Hawaii here, we went to. Dallas, man, we went out to to, to watch a fight, a boxing ma match between Fury and uh, Wilder, and we was just, you know, in a bar, and like it was like an outdoor area, and we were just, you know, amongst brothers. We weren't trying to, you know, attract girls or nothing. We were just celebrating that we was together, and we were watching the fight and having fun, burning Palo Santo, and just being Jake, man. And everybody, there was like couples around us there was other guys like groups of friends around us and everybody just wanted to come amongst us man because the way we treated one another i remember you know some lady was like oh those guys are so cool you know and we was just being brothers man like naturally being brothers you know brotherly to one another like hey brother you want this you want, i got you bro boom 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 you know Serving one another And I remember that so much Because the lady was like Oh those guys are so cool And she was with like her friends And you know like It was just like the spirit drawn them Unto us So that special spirit That the Lord put upon us Is is already in all jades But you see it more In uh In the men of the Lord Because we doing it again In righteousness This is uh, Deuteronomy 4 in verse 5 it says behold i have taught you statutes and judgments even as yahweh my power commanded me that ye should do in the land whether ye go to possess it keep <clears throat> therefore and do them for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations and this is what makes a nation great you know wisdom and understanding because everything is uh is uh done through wisdom and understanding there's a scripture i believe is in the apocrypha that says that uh what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things roughly paraphrasing you know and wisdom does work all things man from the medical to infrastructure to architecture to uh you know the the knowledge and wisdom and even even in in wickedness man the Lord instructs the left hand side through the right hand side wisdom, you see? So the Lord gave us the law, statutes, and commandments to, to follow it, and that way we would be what? Superior to all nations, man. And for disobedience, we 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 got punished, we got stripped of our heritage, which includes the law, statutes, and commandments. Now we are in a, in a low state as a nation, but through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Washah, the Lord has saved a, a remnant, which we believe we're a part of, and that remnant has came back to the Heavenly Father, to what to teach our nation, or at least the hopeful elect, <clears throat> the ways of righteousness, so that we can what 
wake up all of the elect and 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 have Yahweh Bashim Shah come deliver us, man, to establish our kingdom, which is is in the midst of happening, man. Everything that's going on worldwide revolves around the word of Yahweh Bashim Shah and the Israelites. You're seeing the the manifestation of the sons of of the Most High, man. In a low level, soon is gonna be a, 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 in a in a <coughs> it's gonna be in its fullness because once Yahweh Shai comes and delivers us and gives us those new bodies and righteousness, man, we're gonna be like the next you know uh, nation of superheroes upon earth executing righteousness, you know. So let's keep on. Reading this It says Keep therefore And do them For this is your wisdom And your understanding In the sight of the nations Which shall hear All this, these statutes And say Surely This great nation Is a wise And understanding people For what nation Is there so great Who has the most high So nigh unto them As Yahweh Our power Is in all things That we call upon him for <coughs> That's right. So you see, once the nations see the the wisdom, the understanding that we have in righteousness, man, they're gonna see like, damn, who, who is like this, like this great nation? Nobody, man. And people are already noticing that through the prophets, man. Everybody, everybody that's, uh, everybody that's. Uh, that's encountered the Israelites and, and, and try to debate them, they get, you know, they get uh, uh, destroyed through the scriptures, man. And they see, like, damn, we really don't know nothing about the scriptures. <clears throat> and although they try to debunk and, you know, bring up arguments, they know that, that they can't deal with the spirit, with the true spirit of the Lord, man. Um... Uh, This is our Jeremiah 10 and verse 16. It says, The portion of Jacob is not like them, like these other nations, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh of hosts is his name. You see, so the, the former of all things is Jacob, man. Our forefather, the, the progenitor of the nation of Israel. He is the former of all things, so meaning what? That Israel is a special people, man, above everybody, you know? And we are the what? The rod of the Lord's inheritance. So before the Lord turns to any other nation, he's going to be with us. And that is, is a special one to himself. Just us being chosen as, as, as that special people unto the Lord. It makes a a, a, a great uh, separation, man. Because we're getting privileges. We're getting, you know, we're, we're the first, uh, <laughs> like they do it in sports, a uh, first round pick. You know, we are that number one player, man, amongst these nations. <clears throat> and there's nothing... These other nations could do to, to try to Take that from us man They could try to oppress us They could try Oh I had that definition They could try to oppress us Destroy us But guess what happens We're still gonna overcome Through the spirit man So this is that word that You know that teacher was saying That he's ethnocentric Which uh, it's, not, it's not a bad thing man You know We are Everybody is for their own people you know, and us as Israelites, we are for our, our own people, not for the two thirds of our people, because they're we know they're sellouts, and we know that they're not gonna turn to the Lord and 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 and, and join Yahweh Bashim Shai. But we are for those that believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai. You know, and we believe through the Spirit that we are better than anybody on this on the face of the earth. So let's read it. <clears throat> this word ethnocentric it says 
evaluating other people's cultures according to the standards of one's culture. That's right, and our culture is Yahweh Hashem Shai. Our culture is righteousness. So when we judge, we're judging in, in in righteousness. If we judge an individual, we're judging him according to to the law, according to the ways of Yahweh Hashem Shai, which is is you know perfect. So if somebody's a murderer, a homosexual, a, a, a thief, you know, that eats abominations, we're going to look at that individual and say, you know what? I'm not going to associate myself with this person because he's evil. They're idol worshipers. So in our eyes, we are better than him or than her because we follow after righteousness. We don't commit adultery. We're not a, idolaters. We don't eat abominations You know we, we don't commit uh, You know homosexual acts So we are better than you Now this society has taught us to accept everything To accept everyone as there is And that's wickedness man The scripture says Follow not a multitude to do evil And this is why You know that These world World uh, religions are Nothing but a farce because they don't they don't make uh, or they don't set a standard for what's right or for what's wrong. To them, everything is like, oh, just do whatever you want as long as you come on Sundays and pay that money, or as long as you contribute to the church. But they never tell you that you have to have a, a standard in righteousness, man. So they let you just do whatever it is, and and at the same time they don't they don't show you what's wrong so that you could judge from righteousness from from evil, man. You see, so when somebody says I'm ethnocentric, it's seen as oh I'm racist and even racist, man. Everybody's for their own people, and they teach you they drill. That the thought in your hand that yeah I just accept everything and everyone But really you don't Because from the food to the music You could be a Jake all you want Whether it be Northern Kingdom or Southern Kingdom And they send you to fucking Korea or China To listen to their fucking music And their And I'm talking their traditional Not Not that new stuff that they have that Jake created The, the You know the the foreigners, uh, Israelite foreigners created, but the traditional music and their food, that shit is whack. You're gonna go and eat it because you have to, and there's nothing else to get, but you ain't gonna go up in there and be like, oh yeah, I, I, I could get used to this. Unlike maybe like Judah going down to South America or, or, or the Northern Kingdom going to. To wherever uh, Judah lives We could get accustomed to our culture man Cause it's very similar We might get Have a couple differences <clears throat> But we We the same people man So we're gonna just get used to the vibe And just go along with it But you go to Channeland or Elam or Any of these heathen countries Even damn Hamland You know you got A bunch of southern kingdom Men and women In that fucking <clears throat> um, African culture And, and you know uh, That whole uh, Damn I forgot the name of that Damn uh, Religion With the Egyptians and shit I fuck, It slipped my mind But they ain't never They don't want to go to Africa Why? Because They're a whole Another nation man You don't want to uh, associate with those people, man. You don't want to be doing their their customs. That's why they never go to Africa. They always like, oh, Africa, this, Africa, that, Africa, Africa, Africa. But ain't none of them going back to Africa. And those that go to Africa come back. You see? <laughs> so spiritually, you always want to be with your people, man. So being ethnocentric, being racist, is not wrong. It's just that the world has made it so. 
Uh, let's see, it says, what is being ethnocentric? Okay, what is ethnocentric in examples? Ethnocentrism occur occurs when one has a belief that their own cultural group is superior to others. And Esau, the so-called white man, shows you that all the time. Moab, Ammon, they all show it all the time. You see, they show it through finances, they, they show it through, you know, uh, 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 politics everywhere everywhere you go you could be uh, a a student a plus student and apply to Harvard and to whatever school Ivy League as a Negro or Latino Native American and you will not get in unless you have a hookup unless somebody puts in a word for you but you could be a, a B plus or a, a C plus student as a Edomite or a, or a Moabite or an Ammonite but because they know somebody or they have a business oh they'll accept them right away in uh in uh any Ivy League school man and I could attest for that because I had a, a a friend that man this dude graduated with a hundred and like three uh a hundred and three uh Average score of, of his uh, Damn Is it a GPA? Not a GPA But Yeah I guess his GPA in high school Was like an 103 He aced Every single Region That they gave him And he, he took like College classes in high school He was super smart And no Ivy League school took him You see Because he was a Israelite <laughs> And they show you all the time, man. These other nations always get a privilege. So they show you. When you go to a court, Jay commits the same crime as, as Esau. Jay gets life in prison. Esau, oh, we'll give him probation. You know, uh, and, uh, you know, you got to pay some money. And that's all. You see, so they show you. It says individuals who are ethnocentric will believe that their cultures, beliefs, ideas, values, and practices are correct and they use the standards in their own cultures to assess other cultural groups. And is is this not what Esau Edom does all throughout the world? Esau goes all throughout the world bringing democracy to people. Bring in his LGBTQ uh, agenda onto them because oh they need liberation, they need to be free, they need democracy. So you see, you see the hypocrisy of, of these devils, man. Let's see what else they have to say here. White is better. Yeah, I'm saying, to be honest. No, I'm not saying this. I'm saying it enough. So you're racist. I think it's like something. Yeah. Put your phone up. I respected you. I actually respected you for a while, but like now, I don't think I don't respect you. I don't think I got respect for him no more, bro. Mm -mm. No, you should have more respect. Bro. If ever there was a case study for projection, this is it, where this racist teacher like, can't see past his own biases and thinks everyone else is as racist as he is. And the thing that really, like, it, it both broke my heart, but it also was a little bit heartwarming. Like the, the student who says, I'm not, I don't think like that. I like all kinds of people, right? It's just like the sweet. Yeah, and I, you know, that's just, what they they taught uh the people to believe in man because again you don't you don't connect and click the same with with all people man you know no matter what you know jake is a a, a lively people we're we're loud we like playing around joking amongst one another Esau don't take that Esau don't like to play around he doesn't like like uh dancing and loud music the same thing with Moab and Ammon and all these nations, man. 
we we just a, a different type of people, man. And 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 these other nations hate it. You know, they don't they don't want to be associated with us. They don't want to marry their daughters into us. None of that stuff, man. Um, real quick, uh, this is in uh, the book of Second Ezra, uh, six and verse uh, fifty-four, showing you again that the Lord has a a, a a a nation that He prefers, man, above all, and and also he, he He lets us know what He thinks of these other nations. Second Ezra six and verse fifty-four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So out of Adam come, come all people. You know, through Noah uh, and his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. That's where all the descendants of the earth today come from. And also the chosen people, which is who? The Israelites. It says, and this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. So the Lord made it for the sakes of the Israelites. And for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said they are nothing, but are like unto spittle. So these other nations, the so-called uh, Chinese, the so-called Japanese, the white man, the Arabs, the Africans. It says, Thou hast said they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a brought unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So that's what the Lord thinks of these other nations, man. That they are like unto spittle. And the abundance of them is like a a, a, a drop that falleth from a vessel, man. So meaningless. They don't mean nothing to the Heavenly Father. You know? Showing you that the Lord is racist, showing you that Yahweh Shai prefers a nation above all. You know, you other nations really believe that that the Lord has a <clears throat> has equal love for all of you. You know that the Lord is just gonna have mercy upon all you nations and everything is gonna be just Equality for everybody They Those that believe That there is a God Because you know You have a lot of uh, Heathens That are uh, Atheists and all that But Those of you that believe in a, in a higher power Especially the one in the Bible You think that The kingdom of heaven Is just going to be a, a kumbaya moment Where all nations Are just going to be the same And equality is going to be You know uh, reigning in the in the heavens and that's not so man the lord's going to bring a kingdom for the israelites the kingdom of heaven that everlasting kingdom and righteousness is going to be for the israelites and you he the nations you're going to be serving the sons of yahweh shai the sons and daughters of yahweh shai the israelites yes you're going to by default enjoy the kingdom of heaven because we're not going to destroy the earth we're not going to pollute it but you're going to be servants unto the chosen nation man this is isaiah 40 and verse 17 it says all nations before him are as nothing and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity that's right you see, so you other nations, you were like less than nothing to the Heavenly Father. You were created for the sole purpose of serving His sons and daughters so that we could glorify Him through the things, through the special things that we're going to do in the kingdom. Man, we do some of some of those things now, but the glory is not being given to Yahweh Shimon but in the kingdom of heaven, man, you best believe that everything we do is going to be in the glory of Yahweh Hashem Yahushan. So, hey, with that, Akiyam, again, uh, all praises, honor, and glory go to Yahweh Hashem Yahushan, Hashem Kakadash. So, next time, Lord willing, a hey, Shalom.